Hi, I'm Chef Rick Moonen. Today I'm going to be serving up whole grilled sea bass rubbed with charmoula. To accompany the whole sea bass, I'm going to cook some russet potatoes with some herbs. So I got some uh, rosemary that I added to there from my garden. I'm going to add a little bit of oregano, extra virgin olive oil, a good amount of it because you really want it to fry in, in the oil. Then we're going to season it with some salt and pepper. And I have behind me on my grill a, uh, a, a black steel pan that has uh, been heating up on top of the, the hot box under there is my, my fire. So we get the oil going in there, dump in our potatoes, and just let that start to caramelize, okay? Okay, now we're gonna make our charmoula. With the top on the, on the uh, blender, turn it on, it's running. We add the garlic, let, let it, so they kind of purees as it goes through. Turn it off. Now we're gonna add lemon zest, lemon juice, some paprika, and some, some uh, toasted and uh, ground cumin. So now with this running, extra virgin olive oil to make a paste. And we're gonna add a bunch of herbs, some cilantro and parsley. Okay, run it one last time. A little bit of extra oil. So I'm gonna take a towel, take my sea bass. And two things you have to know. First of all, to prepare the grill, we want it to be indirect heat. You don't want this to be directly over the, the, the coals. When you put this fish over the grill, the tails and the scales are gonna burn off. So I'm gonna cut off the tail, because it's not necessary. And I'm going to rub this completely with charmoula. But in order for it to, um, to permeate the meat, you make these slight shallow cuts through the skin. Get a clean casserole. Rub the fish down with salt and pepper. And now, this is where the charmoula comes in. Completely coat this fish in charmoula. So, these things are amazing. These little grill baskets that uh, clamp down and hold on to a whole fish. It allows you to not have to poke and prod at the fish while it's cooking. You can flip it over easily. Then you take your, uh, your whole sea bass, put it inside of your fish basket. You just close the top and slide this little thing that holds it in place. And now you're ready to rock and roll with that fish. Place it closest to the heat source over here and just close the grill. I want the temperature gauge here to reach about 250 degrees, which means it's closer to 300 down here because it's directly where the heat's coming from. That's enough to blister the skin and gently cook that fish, and the charmoula gets a chance to caramelize along with it. Okay, after it's had a chance to be on one side for five minutes, flipped over in an additional five minutes, you end up with this absolutely gorgeous, blistered on the outside fish. So put that off to the side, take out your potatoes, Close your grill. Just get ready. It's my favorite part right here. Open it up. Boom. Just roll it onto a platter. You can smell the smokiness on these potatoes. It's absolutely stunning. Personally, I just like a little bit of lemon zest on there. You put a little squeeze of lemon as well on there if you like. Squeeze it over the top of the potatoes as well as the fish. Garnish it with some parsley a sprinkling of sea salt. This is a lemon infused extra virgin olive oil. Just a little drizzle on top. Dinner is served. Now, take a look inside here. You get up close here. You can see the shimmering, glistening, delicious, perfectly cooked sea bass. You can taste the charmoula, that little bit of cumin, that hint of flavors that come from the smoked paprika, the flavors that come from the smokiness of the, of the, of the apple wood that's been cooking, along with a piece of this lemon, rosemary, oregano, potato. Perfect, enjoy.